Okay, here we go. Hi, everybody. I am going to do a painting for everyone who had questions. I'm going to show you how I do it from start to finish, hopefully. Um, okay, got my eight pound printer here, skin down in the pan. I'm going to take paper towel and wipe it up. Got my nice skin. Put it like this. Put it down in there, like that. And I'm going to set it aside while I make the marinade. Okay? All right. The marinade consists of salt, cumin, oregano leaves, vinegar, um, extra virgin olive oil, and pepper. Okay? You, for every pound, you want to put one teaspoon, one teaspoon of salt. So I got eight pounds. So I'm going to use eight teaspoons of salt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that is salt. Now, for every pound, you want to use one quarter teaspoon of pepper. So I got eight pounds, so I need eight quarters is two teaspoons. So one, two of pepper. Black pepper. Same thing goes for oregano leaves. Quarter teaspoon for every pound. So I got eight pounds. I need two teaspoons. One, two of oregano leaves. Next is cumin. So same deal, quarter teaspoon for every pound. I got eight pounds, four quarter, four quarter teaspoons for four pounds, four eight quarter teaspoons for eight pounds. So that's two teaspoons of cumin. One, two, okay, so that's cumin. Now, I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to put it in my KitchenAid mixer. Yes, in my KitchenAid mixer. With, for each pound of pork, you will need one of garlic to go inside the marinade. Get my garlic. So we need eight cloves of garlic. Get nice big ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight cloves of garlic go inside, and I always do one for good luck. And then you're going to need eight cloves of garlic to stuff the pork with after we, while we marinate it. Okay, so put those, put those on the side. Next, you're going to need quarter cup of oil. Any extra virgin olive oil that you choose, you could use. Quarter cup extra virgin olive oil is going to go in here. Then 
and put equal parts vinegar, which is another quarter cup of vinegar. And I just want to put a little splash more. Okay, so so far we have in there eight cups of salt. No, I'm sorry, eight teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, two teaspoons of oregano leaves, two teaspoons black pepper, two teaspoons of cumin, and eight cloves of garlic. So you're gonna take. So good. Cumin, garlic, the vinegar. Smells really good. Okay. This is what it will look like. Okay. So now we're gonna dump it into my bowl here. That you can. This is so good. This is more than enough for one eight pound pork. But I'm going to use it all. I'm not going to marinate the skin. The skin, I'm going to do something else to it. Okay. So, I'll move that to the side. My little mess I make here. I'm gonna take my garlic, cut them all in half, and then slice them so I can add them into the what they need after I cut holes into it. So cut them in half, put them flat so you don't cut yourself. And then just slice them. So, look, I mean, I use eight, eight cloves of garlic. Cut in half is sixteen. And you slice them, you're gonna fill the holes of the pork, and I'll show you what I mean. When I say fill the holes. Next, we are going to we're gonna this down, get all the stuff off of it. Okay. Nice. Now this part, a lot of people are asking me, what do I mean? Pull the skin back. Okay. You can take any knife and you're going to grab the corner of the skin in the meat, and you're gonna slice. And you just follow it all the way through your pork. Trying to keep, trying not to cut into the meat, but just get the skin removed from the pork. You don't wanna cut it off all the way. You just want to peel it back 
okay? You wanna peel it back until you're able to pull it all the way to the end of the shoulder bone. And I'll show you in a minute once I get it done. You want your knife to go all the way through. Come out this side, okay? Which I will do in a minute. Without ripping the skin. It's key. You don't want to rip the skin. Because that's the best part. Chicharron. Chichichichu chicharron. Delicious. It's going to come out so crispy. And when that happens, you you will take you will take it off, remove it from the pork after it's done, and you will clean all the fat off of it. Or if you like to eat the fat, you can leave the fat on it. Put some lime juice on it. Oh, so delicious! So good. So this is what I mean when I say remove the skin. You wanna get it off the meat so you can season your meat without messing the skin up. Okay. Get some of this fat back. Alright. Next. We will take, see, the skin right on it. Pull it back, I can hold it by it. It's not completely off. Next, you can take your knife. Next, you take your knife and you're gonna stab it in an X. You're gonna make little X's inside your meat. Some you don't want to hit the bone. You can't do nothing with that. Then you're going to, I'll show you. Take your marinade, which we got here. And you're gonna put it in the holes. You're gonna put it nice in the holes, nice in the hole. Get them in the hole. You do that. Fill in your holes. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fill in your holes with the garlic. Put your garlic slices in the holes. While you push the marinade in. I'm going to cook this covered with aluminum foil three at 350 350 325 depending on your oven covered for four hours eight pounds for four hours okay get more marinade got more holes to cover it goes right in so good oh it smells so good mm. two, three, four, five pieces garlic into the holes. And you just know what I mean. That one here. Okay. Rub your marinade. Rub the marinade. And then Gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Clean my little mess I made here. Then you 
you want to put the skin right back on top and flip her over. Okay? You want to do the same thing here. X. 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 You make like a little X. Push in. You don't want to get the skin. Okay? You want to keep the skin nice and dry. So it gets nice and crispy. in there. No matter which way you do it. Oh, garlic, tender seasoning, whatever you want it to. Marinade. We're going to go right into the holes with the marinade. Right, into the hole. Holes, push into the hole. Oh, it smells so good. Let's stick the garlic in the holes. Hole here. See, you don't need that much of the marinade. You just need enough to get in the holes. It's delicious. Make it nice. Don't worry, I'm going to use more marinade when I switch it to my pan. Which I'm going to do right now. Be a messy person. Drive me nuts. Okay. Move my pan. I'm gonna pick up my pork and I'm gonna put it right in the pan that I'm gonna bake it in. Okay. Clean up my mess I got here. If you do it this way, it'll come out perfect. It'll come out good. Okay, so we'll take you see a lot of marinade left. So I'm gonna hit the places that I didn't touch. I'm gonna rub smooth some in there. I'm gonna massage the rest of this into my pork. I'm not doing the skin. I'm not doing the skin with the marinade. <coughs> just the meat. I'm going to use just a tiny bit of the marinade on top. And I'll show you in a minute. Okay? Just a little bit. So I'll put my skin back. See that? That's all I'm going to use on the a little bit, nothing more, no more, just that little bit. Okay, good, good. Now, I'm gonna take a double. Adobo and sprinkle it on top of my skin. Okay. Now I'm going to rub it, smooth it out. 
smooth it out. Promise you, it's gonna come out great, this skin. Okay. Next, I'm gonna wrap it in plastic and sit it in my fridge for a couple of days. I'm gonna show you how I do with the plastic. I don't cover the pan. I covered the meat only with the plastic. Okay. It's all brand new. Okay. Get my plastic. I don't want no air to touch my meat when I put it in the fridge. I don't want no air to touch any part of the penny. Okay? That's why I don't do the whole pan. Some people do the pan and they do the whole thing and they trap air inside. Like that. Okay, and we'll put this in the fridge for two to three days, and it's gonna be so good. And I'm gonna bake it 350 for four hours covered in aluminum foil, which I'll show you how I do my foil. All right. Be back. Here is my bainy marinated Friday. Today is Monday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three days, three full days it's been marinating in the refrigerator. I just take this top off just like that. I'll take it and I'll throw this away. And now I'm ready to wrap it in aluminum foil. I'll show you how I do the aluminum foil. So I move this to the side. I open up my foil and I get big pieces of foil. One. One piece and I'm gonna get another piece. Try to get them the same size, hopefully they are. Oh yes, perfect. Same size, aluminum foil. Okay. And then I take my foil, I place them evenly together and I fold, I fold them in and I make a crease. Okay, and then I fold it again. I fold it about three or four times. That's the second time. Okay, go all the way down, fold, three, all the way down, all the way down, three, I think three is good on this, okay, and then I pick it up, and I open it up, and look, like one big sheet, and then I'm gonna put it right on top of my thing. I'm not going to touch the top, I'm just going to try to leave space so the foil when it bakes, it don't touch the top. I start like this. I go all the way around, keep it nice and puffy. But you want to secure it, so go from all the way to back and work your way around. You want to keep, and then I turn it, and I do the same thing on this side. I fold it in. Try not to touch the top. And I lift it up and do it like that. I give it like little handles, but it's touching the top a tiny bit. So hopefully when I bake it, it don't get stuck to it. But I'm hoping it won't. 
I don't think it will. It's not that much on top. So I take my foil, take my bainy, then I put her in the oven. So there goes my bainy. There goes my oven. Here we go. Into the oven we go. Four hours at 350. If your ovens may be different, it might be four to five hours. This is an eight pound penny. So I go four hours at 350. And when I take it out, right now it's on bake. When I take it out in four hours, I press boil and this will go to 525. I put the penny out, I take the top off and I broil it for about 40 to 45 minutes on broil, uncovered. And I'll see you in four to five hours. Here we go. It's been four and a half hours. Been here time. Wow. Oh fuck, it's hot dog. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yeah, she got stuck. She got stuck, man. Not, not bad. Look at that, huh? skin it's gonna crisp up so nice so this is what I do I take that and I put it here it smells so good it's already falling off the bone Falling off the bar. Can't feel it get burned. Oh, this thing is delicious. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, I'll fold right apart. Oh. Look at that. All the way through. Look at that. Delicious. 
Now we're gonna go in the oven. The broiler. Right here. Right on there. Okay. My oven. Look. You press broil. Bake, broil, 525. I baked it for four and a half hours on 350, covered. I removed the cover, I removed it from this tray. I press broil. The temp inside the oven's going up to 525. And that's how we're gonna get the skin nice and crispy. For about 40, 45 minutes. Got my timer. It says 45 minutes and I'll press start. See you in a bit. All right, here we go. Come on out. Yay. what we got. And so I, this is how I this is how I test test it. It looks good. Smells good. Right? Oh, oh, oh. It is so perfect, watch this, watch. Watch how easy, my hand is hot. Watch how easy this is gonna be. Get the skin, peel that back. All right, put that right there. Oh, watch. Oh, oh. Look at that. Ooh. And all I gotta do So good, it so comes apart. 
so easily there. the bone. Beautiful. Entire bone. Even the bone is falling apart. Look at that. Beautiful. Chicharron. What the f Try not to get any of the fat. I don't like the fat. Yeah, beautiful pieces. This is the skin. Skin. This is the skin. bottom wow and that's it that's the whole painting you know get the skin off of here look at that Beautiful pieces. Beautiful. Yeah. Come right apart. And then what we do is take the skin. We don't want to eat all the fat. So, just clean it off like that. Maybe I'm too. Maybe people are saying, no, that's the good part. But I don't want that part. Yucky fat. What's that? Give the skin. Listen to that.
Beautiful. Oh, it looks like a head. Look at that. Elvis. The nose, the head, the eye. Whoa, the mouth, neck. Holy mo, maybe I got something here. You ain't no hound dog. Wepa, 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 kenepa. You ain't no but a hound dog. All right, not playing games. I can't sing for shit. But look. That is my Benny. Please let me know. Good or bad? What you'll think? Inbox me. I make these. Maybe you can make a few bucks off of them, huh? How much money can you make off of a baby? Shit. Anyway, I'm kidding. Um, let me know. Thanks. Wepa.